Hey guys, hey loves, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> so today's video is a spiritual content type of video. And disclaimer, I'm just next to, to a road. So it can be a little bit noisy because there are a lot of motorcycles passing by. But it's okay. And as usual, I said in every video, I'm going to talk about a product that I sell. And today's video, I'm talking about this product. Like this is the most the best selling product that we sell and it is a detox drink aloe vera gel 100% natural and stabilized <clears throat> and so i'm gonna give you reasons of why you should drink this because in the last unboxing i mentioned that everyone needs this drink so this drink you drink only a quarter a glass every morning obviously it is not morning on my end but i'm just gonna do a little demo for you guys so this drink is if you're struggling with bloating, if you're struggling with constipation, if you're having digestion problems, if you're having stomach problems, this is the drink for you. If you feel sluggish and tired all the time, this is the drink for you. That's why anybody who comes to me and says that they want a solution to any health problem, high blood pressure, migraine, a diabetes, anything, this is the first thing we give you. Even weight loss and weight gain because this is really, really necessary because you cannot treat a dirty gut. If, you, if your gut is dirty even if i give you the vitamins that you need it won't be able to be absorbed properly into your system that's why everyone needs a detox drink when last did you detox let me just ask you that question and if you did not use this drink then this is the best that you should drink yes if you usually have a flat tummy and then you start noticing a little potty coming for you this is a drink for you because it helps to clear your intestines actually we are full of so much that and of course i'm gonna add little details here on the screen for you to understand more about the drink so and yeah. definitely use this drink to cleanse your system cleanse 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 everyone needs this and i'm gonna say that again we all need this you actually can't afford to have a dirty gut because the amount of illnesses you're inviting into your life you need this is so yeah i was of course it is not sweet by the way it is not the first time i'm taking it actually but for those who are sweet tooths we have different flavors like berry nectar peach just make sure you reach me out in the number that i'm putting on this screen okay yeah, yeah. so today i'm addressing how um giving tights made me um leverage my blessings and i'm not saying this because every pastor out there tells you give 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 i'm telling you this because you actually need to give your tithe have you been faithful with your tithe the first time i started giving my tithe i think was in high school but that one i don't remember i remember the details one in campus when i started giving my tithe of course campus student you are broke af but i used to give at least you know i remember giving a hundred shillings for tithe out of a thousand bob that i used to get for pocket money it depends just any money you get whether you get in three months or in four months you just be faithful with that and give that but of course tithe is giving the 10 percent of your what you've worked for so definitely it's in your income so now you're giving incomes say unapata on a job you're getting incomes but you're not giving tithe and you just find your money just disappearing actually the bible says that some people they get their money but it just potters in the wild wind i'm gonna find that bible verse and just put it here on the screen that's why you should give your tithe it is very important <laughs> giving your tithe does not mean you know when you hear pastors saying that you should give your tithe you think that they just want it for their own benefit but do not give your tithe because you're giving to your pastor give your 10 percent because you're giving it back to god it belongs to him so at kikula you're actually eating money that does not belong to you and that's why you find that you're not even getting blessings so i remember i used to give my tithe when i was in campus and even when you are broke broke i know even now you're like utalipa rent i'm utalipa tithe utalipa school fees I'm utalipa nini. but actually start with your tithe even when you earn 953 bob calculate the 10 percent of that and give your tithe i remember this one time i actually gave my tithe in campus and then i was broke you guys <laughs> like you know the bible actually says you can use tithe as a means of um testing god literally it is the only way that god says test me by giving tithe and then you can see what he can do for you so i remember i gave this tithe and then every friday we used to go for prayers in uh, in a certain place with a certain friend of mine so that day we were going for prayers and i promised you i didn't know what i was gonna eat and just on the road of where we used to go for prayers in that place it was kind of in the forest there was like i think it was 400 shillings 200 shillings and 200 bob lying there on the floor and we were passing together but i'm the one who saw them so i think that is a way that god provided for me that we can't let's say yeah and actually he's been so faithful through giving tithes i remember also 
I started being faithful in giving my tithes too. From campus, even this year when I started giving tithe, and whenever you are almost giving your tithe, always pray for your money and say, maybe you are praying for a new job or a promotion or your, you know, use your tithe to test God. Just for me, the first time I prayed that God may give me more so that I can give more. And of course, the next month, of course, he gave me more and I gave it. And I remember, I was, I was usually giving like, um, I was supposed to remain with the, like 750 bob from giving my tithe. And then that morning I was searching for change to give, to go and pay tithe, I couldn't find change. So I was like, God, I'm going to give you this. I ended up to go a change. But even in that, I was still faithful in that little because I felt convicted to give the one that I had. And imagine money comes from nowhere. Like you just get a stranger calling you and like, they, they talk, talk to you for one hour and they're like, I'm going to buy you lunch, like for just talking to me. Someone paying you just for your time. Or you just get a random person, for example, the money that the subscriber sent me to like buy a new tripod look how convenient it is you're using the tripod now and i'm not even drinking this after it is not sweet you guys <laughs> cleansing is not easy you know yeah. that money actually i just got it out of nowhere i had not spoke to that beautiful lady for like three months or so and then out of nowhere she was like yeah i'm gonna send you this i'm not saying that i get that uh, that i got all these gifts from people just because I paid tight, I do not deserve it at all. It was all by God's grace. What I'm saying is like giving tight um, provokes God to give you your blessings. It's like, you know, when you hold back to the tight, you're holding back to your blessings. So give it and then you get your blessings. It's like leveraging your blessings. It's exactly what I'm saying. Like just be faithful. Even the Bible says, whoever is faithful with the little, more will be given. So be faithful with the little money you get and just give that 10%. To see, and do Shanghai to you, Pastor Kazakin, Kuiti Shanghai to Pesa, that is none of your business. How he spends that money, that is none of your business. Obviously, it will go to the pastor or the activities of the church, but you, you're giving it to God because you're trusting God that your person Malili Toka. Let me tell you one thing. When you give tithe, it's like you're telling God, I trust you. And I know that this money in Metoka Kwako, so it will definitely come back to me. You are the provider. It's like showing God that he is the real provider. But when you hold on to the tithe, it's like you are the one providing for yourself. Actually, you're not. That money is not yours. It is God's. You are just a steward. So, yeah, if anything you can get from this video, give tithes if you haven't been giving tithes. Just, it's... Yani, I've been feeling, I've been receiving God's blessings of late just because, not because I'm giving time, because God is just good. I mean, whether you give or not, he's gonna just be good to you. But do your part, like test him. Come on, a new job you want. Come on, Nini, I want to view some this channel. I'm going to test God by giving tithes and say, God, I'm giving this tithe for the sake of my YouTube channel. That is just an example. Or because of my business, you know, like, yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. Be faithful in the little and God shall bless you more. Cheers. Just make sure you come, you come order. Very affordable, guys. Affordable. You can start with two bottles a month. Mm -hmm. If you're drinking a quarter a glass every morning and this is one liter, it will last. So support your girl, okay? <laughs> it is not tasty, you guys. Come for the berry nectar one. I'll put the flavored one. And of course, I'm gonna... If you have chapped lips, you come and moisturize yourself with this. Now I'm gonna go because you're supposed to go and refill the gas, yeah? Adulthood is calm. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you've learned a thing or two. Just give that tithe, okay? Just test God. Come on, my shining gumu on your end. Life has always been hard. Just test him using that. Test him. If you want him to restore your anything, your life, your something, your job, I, I don't know what you're struggling with, but just go give that tithe and pray for it. Just test God. Test him. Bye! Make sure you follow me on my Instagram.